Another big story, this one back east in Washington, a major Supreme Court ruling on New York's concealed carry regulations that could make it easier to obtain a firearm license. The ruling will have significant impact right here in California, which has similar concealed weapon laws. KTVU's Evan Cernofsky has reaction from around the state on this momentous ruling here. Evan? That's right, Mike. Pro Second Amendment groups see this ruling as a major victory that will expand right to carry laws nationwide. But gun control advocates, including many here in California, say today's ruling will unwind crucial gun restrictions and will likely lead to more deaths by firearms. The Supreme Court on Thursday voted 6-3 to three to strike down New York's law that limited who could obtain concealed carry permits and be armed outside the home. It applies here in California and a handful of other states with similar gun laws. The Supreme Court says everybody has a right if they're a responsible adult to carry a gun in public. UC Hastings law professor Rory Little says California laws were extremely restrictive on who could get a concealed permit. Cities like San Francisco, for example, only granted one such permit. Little says the ruling now allows all citizens to be issued permits unless there's a compelling reason to deny them. You might still deny a permit to a number of people, but you'd have to have a special reason. Uh, a drug, issue, a drug problem or a mental health problem or some history of violence, prior convictions. Lawmakers in California, which has some of the toughest gun laws in the country, are now bracing for a flood of people to start applying for gun permits. State Attorney General Rob Bonta on Thursday said that an assessment of dangerousness would be an essential part of the process. The assessment is going to be robust, including looking at arrests, convictions, restraining orders and other publicly available information that might suggest that a person poses a danger to themselves or to others. State lawmakers also plan to introduce legislation next week that could bar people from bringing concealed weapons in certain locations like parks and sporting events. You should have an expectation when you take your family to a park, to a school, to to where you congregate, you should have that expectation that your children are not going to be put in danger. Pro Second Amendment groups, including the NRA, celebrated the high court's ruling Thursday. The organization's executive vice president, Wayne LaPierre, had this to say, quote, decades of right to carry laws all across America have proven that good men and women are not the problem. This ruling will bring life-saving justice to law-abiding Americans who have lived under unconstitutional restrictions all across our country, particularly in cities and states with revolving door criminal justice systems, no cash bail, and increased opposition to law enforcement. But gun control advocates lambasted the decision, accusing the court's conservative majority of going against the will of most Americans who support sensible gun control. This decision is radical judicial extremism at its worst, and Americans will die as a result. John Lowy is chief counsel at the Brady Center to prevent gun violence. He and other gun control advocates held a town hall meeting criticizing the Supreme Court's ruling. An armed society is not, as the NRA likes to say, a polite society. It is a deadly society. And the Supreme Court has taken a huge step in writing that bogus, dangerous policy into our Constitution. As now, experts say the Supreme Court ruling won't have any direct bearing on the gun control legislation being worked out right now in Congress, but they say it could lead to a larger rollback of gun control laws more broadly. California lawmakers, meanwhile, will be scrambling in the days and weeks to come on how they will interpret and respond to the high court's decision. Evan Cernofsky, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Evan, thank you for that. House